Hey guys, and welcome to a new day in the life of a software engineer. If you're new to the channel, my name is Igor, and currently I'm working on my open source project, which is powered by Spotify API. In this video, I want to tell you about a new crucial feature, but before I need to do some groceries, and to make it a bit less boring, I'll share some insights about the project. So one thing that truly drives my passion is the never-ending learning journey. The biggest advantage for me is that I constantly learn something new, because first off, I use the latest versions of frameworks and libraries, and second off, I implement every aspect on my own. Usually enterprise projects have some outdated tech that is not so easy to upgrade. Most of groundwork, like setting up security, configuring the database, dealing with migrations, and other things that are not directly related to the business logic was done ages ago. So implementing all of that from scratch can be quite beneficial for professional growth. And for me, the first lesson learned was that an open source project can be a massive time commitment, especially when I am the only developer in the team. And on top of that, if I want to film the entire process. And of course, if I want to take it seriously, meaning not skipping any crucial steps that's relevant to application development. Basically, all kinds of work that you get paid for. And also, I have to admit, I almost always struggle to estimate tasks more or less precisely. So to be completely honest with you guys, I already can tell that I won't be making this repository public in the next couple of months for sure. However, what I'll continue to do is to create these vlogs and share updates on the progress. Okay, now let's back to the feature. I thought that before implementing any cool stuff, I need to take care of the backend security layer. And honestly, I'm not a big fan of it, but without security, my service would be a total mess. So I've added a bunch of filter configurations for each endpoint. Here is what it looks like. A user can access the Spotify account authentication endpoint without any obstacles, as it's basically a login into the system. And the same applies to the Spotify account callback endpoint. Spotify must be able to send an auth to code so I can authenticate the user afterward. For the rest Spotify API endpoints and user token refresh one, the user must have a JWT token as this is a sensitive information territory and no one but the user with their token can access their own personal data. And lastly, if the user tries to call any other than these endpoints, well, they see nothing except the access denied exception. I love sharing this stuff with you guys. 
that is one of my main goals here. And there is a side benefit of being YouTuber. Some brands are starting to send me tech stuff to try out. So Ivanki, I hope I pronounced the name right, kindly send me this monster docking station for MacBooks. It has a bunch of ports that I guess can cover almost any workflow. I use this one for work only, but for some reason it doesn't work with my Mac. And the funny thing is that after I set it up, I realized that the connection cable is placed on the right side, but my Mac's USB-C ports are on the left side. I think I'll have to turn it upside down for now. Alright, cool, it doesn't require any additional software and it works out of the box. Thank you, Ivanki. The second package is from Mothbrand. Thank you so much guys for sending me this stuff. As a matter of fact, I always wanted to have a brown leather case for my phone and for my laptop. But anything that is made from leather is not ecological and it's really awesome that this accessorize is made from a vegan one. I also like how they made these cases with origami elements. For instance, I can fold the MagSafe wallet and it would become a stand. And the same for the laptop case. It has two positions with different angles. I think it could be a really good replacement for a laptop stand on the go. And of course, with great power comes great responsibility. So before giving any recommendations on these products, I will test them at least for a couple of months. Thanks for watching guys and see you soon.